Hello and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to use my new Pink Stuff cleaning device. I've got a very dirty pair of trainers that need cleaning so I'm going to take you outside now and show you what I'm going to do. Right so here's my trainers before, sorry if you can hear that racket, somebody's strumming in the background but as you can see they're almost looking grey. This is supposed to be white Clearly those bits are supposed to be white, but they're just absolutely filthy. So I thought I'd have a go at cleaning them with the pink stuff and this new little gadget that I've bought, which is like, well, it's a scrubber kit. So it's like a great big giant electric toothbrush. But I have cleaned trainers before with the pink stuff and they've come up really well, but um, you have to do a lot of scrubbing. So hopefully this is going to be save, save me doing a bit of manual scrubbing. So in the kit, I bought this kit from Home Bargains for £10, 9 pounds You get two pots of the actual pink stuff, you get the batteries, which is fantastic, and then you get the main um, brush body and then four different heads with different sort of textures and sizes. So that's the larger one. I like the look of that one for sort of in nooks and crannies. So I'll just put the batteries in and let's get it going. So the batteries are in. Off we go. So what I've actually done with my trainers already, I've just put them under the tap so they're a little bit damp and now I'm going to put all the um, pink stuff cream over them. So I've put quite a generous amount over the trainers. Um, it's a paste, I called it a cream earlier, it's a paste. What I actually might do is take the laces out um, because I need to get to the tongue which is quite dirty as well. And just the reason why I'm doing this like this rather than putting them in the washing machine because these are proper running trainers. Putting them in the washing machine can damage sort of the absorbency, the shock absorbency. So I don't like to put these in the washing machine. Normal trainers I do but not, not, not my technical running trainers. Right, let's give it a little screw. Rub. This is so much easier than manually scrubbing them. As you can see here, the laces are starting to get a bit whiter and the paste has changed colour where the dirt, the dirt's coming out. So rather than it being this sort of lovely pale pink colour, it's going a little bit grey brown. Right, so all I've done is just washed it off with water. It's now got to dry. Um, but you can see the difference already. I'm really, really pleased with that. Look at the laces. They've come up really well. But um, once this dries off, it will lighten up a bit because it's still looking a little bit grey. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is actually leave the paste on it for a little bit longer before I start um, with the brush because I think it possibly needs a little bit of time to work. OK, let's get on to the second one. So that's them both now washed off and clean. I'm just going to leave them in the sun for a bit because the sun does help to bleach whites. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. And because I've got a lot um, the strong sun today, I'm going to leave them just to dry off. So here they are, all finished and washed off. Just been out in the sun for a bit. I'm very pleased with how they've turned out. The bits on the side are silver, so don't think they still look a bit grey. But yeah, that was it was really easy to use that brush and uh, much better than doing it with a manual brush because, you know, that can... Uh, take a bit of time so yeah definitely recommend that for 9.99 great for cleaning trainers so thanks for watching that one uh let me know if you're going to try that uh, pink stuff trainer cleaning hack and uh yeah drop me any comments down below let me know what you think so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one bye for now